everyone and welcome back. So we've got another react today. It is Geo Peter, um, one of my favourite uh, GeoGuessr people, and obviously now works for GeoGuessr as well. Um, and he's got a new GeoGuessr quiz mode. Now, if you know anything, you'll know I absolutely love the quiz mode. I'm a quiz person. I used to do a lot of it, um, and I didn't notice any new. GeoGuessr quiz mode. I haven't looked at it um, recently, obviously, um, but let's see what this new mode is um, and play along, I guess, with Peter. Um, although Peter writes some of the questions because I did his quiz last time, but let's see. For another GeoGuessr video, and in this one, we are going to try out the new quiz update, okay. uh, which I also was a part of making. I wrote a, a couple of questions there. So uh, let's see. Once you. All right, so he's written questions for the quiz mode you're about to do, Peter. Really? Go to quizzes. Once you open oh! the quizzes, you should see a big wheel with a bunch of categories at the bottom. Okay, so wait, 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 I haven't, I have not been on the quizzes for a few days. Um, I don't know how recent this is, but is this the only option now? Because that was immediately you pressed on quiz, and then that's it. Can you not separately pick them? Is it only the spin wheel now? Interesting. When you spin the Wheel, you get a category, and you get a bunch of questions. I'll try not to stop, category. but you know. So let's see how I do. What's this going to be? Um, if you find some. Oh, error... this it's Trivial Pursuit. I just have to say, no, I won't try and stop. It's Trivial Pursuit. It's like sections of a, a cheese or pie or whatever. Okay. If you find some bugs, let me know either in the comments or message me privately. Uh, there which... might be a couple of What's issues this? still. So, uh, in which modern? Oh, that's um South Africa. Captured and imprisoned during the Second World War. Oh God, South Africa. This question. Oh, oh no. Peter. It was also known as the South African War, right? No. Uh, was it like? Oh God, where was it? It wasn't the UK, obviously. No. But, uh, South Africa. It was. Okay. Yep. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Some of the questions might be too difficult. We'll be tweaking. No, the keep them difficult. Moves forward. And make them more difficult, Peter. Just make sure that they're not American centric. Made this point before. Just gonna make it again. And things will change. <laughs> but this, this one was a tricky one. I only knew it because I wrote it. <laughs> uh, what is the name of Winchester Churchill's wife? Oh, it's Clementine. Um, Clementine. It was Clementine. Yes. I, I remember it because Walking Dead had Clementine. Uh, in what year was Winston Churchill? 1953. Oh, uh, was... Oh, gosh. Which one was it? <laughs> So random fact, you want me to see it in the background, um, but it's, I have the entire book collection of what Winston Churchill actually won the Nobel um, Prize for Literature for. It was the history of the English speaking peoples and there are one, two, three, four books in the series. Um, it's quite an expensive series actually, it's like four books, like probably a few hundred pounds there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've got them, I've got them here, so that's the only reason I know that. Um, it's one of the things, Winston Churchill, a lot of issues in his past as well, but one of the things he was known for is being able to do these quips. One of the best ones he did was he um, made the comment of, history will remember me well for I intend to write it, then literally wrote the book series of the, um, the history of the English speaking peoples and won a Nobel Prize for it. I think it was after... It was, it was 53. Two, wasn't it? 53? Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay, well, the only reason why I did so well was uh, because um, I wrote the questions. I was a bit quicker, <laughs> but I'm English. Uh, I'm going to know Churchill. Uh, set. So, do we get another history one, huh? Okay, well, okay I'm good with history. history. Find the country now. Oh, okay. In which modern-day country was William Shakespeare born? Oh, God, I England. This one as well, but I don't remember. Stratford-on-Avon in England. Born. It was UK, right? Stratford-on-Avon. Yes, Very okay. sleepy town or city. Okay, <laughs> William Shakespeare. But yeah, the, the categories can be very different. Okay, before anyone says it, I was complaining about a lot of the things being American centric, and it seems that in basically everything that has just come up, it's amazingly English centric. But at least, you know, these are uh, Churchill and Shakespeare are world known, whereas I think some of the stuff I was complaining about. Wasn't well known. I'm just gonna say. And so geography obviously is one. Uh, last play was the Tempest. Others. Which play is believed to be the last? It was the Tempest. Was the last. Wonderful play. scene. It uh, outside showing of it. The, um, Wonderful. Life is strange. There was Tempest. Uh, part of that. I hate really, that game. Really great game. Life is strange. 
Peter. I should agree with many things you say on here. I have never been so enraged by a game in my life. I did it for about half an hour when I used to be a streamer um, on over on Twitch. I got so annoyed with it. I um, deleted it. Uh, I stopped the game, deleted it off of my computer live on stream and asked Steam for a, a refund because of how goddamn bad the writing for that thing was. Um, but yeah. Uh. Uh, which of Shakespeare's plays featured a machine? Midsummer Night's Dream. dream. Was it? The, oh, gosh, these questions are very easy for me because I'm English. Shakespeare's rammed um, into your head. Well, Churchill like rammed into your head. Yeah. The questions that I wrote. <laughs> but let, let's keep going. And, uh, Give me something that might... Oh, geography. Okay. Oh, that I Peter's going to be beat here. here as well, potentially. What have we got? Which country can you find the Vyovina cave? The deepest cave on earth. Oh, I God. Question as well. It's in Europe, isn't it? It's in Europe? Some, oh, answer options because this feels too difficult. <laughs> No, I like the difficult. The it is in Europe, though, right? I don't know. Uh, Armenia? I, I have no idea. Oh. George. It was George. Right, yeah, so it's, it is on the border. Okay. It somewhere it's, there, it's not but, quite, but uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. Okay. Which Georgian dish consists of cheese filled bread? Oh, it was ketchup. Yeah. So good. So oh, good. absolutely. Wonderful. Amazing. If you haven't tried it, you really should. I think personally there's a um, similar thing over in um oh there's a similar I say similar. It's different but it's the same kind of idea in um kind of eastern lower eastern Europe as well, like uh, Montenegro, um and um uh North Macedonia around that area that have a similar um similar thing as well. Pastry filled, um with like mushrooms and cheese and things like that. It's not the same, but it's the same kind of idea going through, if that makes sense. Absolutely agreed. Wonderful, wonderful food. Tasty, tasty food in Georgia. What is the name of the highest mountain in Georgia? Uh, the uh, Shkara? Ararat, right. No. Was it oh god, where was Ararat? <laughs> oh, was... Oh, yes. Ararat, Arafa, Ararat is in okay. Turkey, dude. Turkey in the Armenian highlands. Okay. Yes. Well, I got a jo I got a geography thing that Peter didn't. I'm taking that. I I can retire from this game happy. I didn't write these questions. So let's see. I won't know these ones. Uh, so, from memory. The world's smallest flowering plant Oh, that's uh, in Asia. It is the weirdest looking oh, thing. It's like uh, tiny, uh, tiny little ball, green balls. It's Asia, maybe. It's weird. Yeah, it's Asia. Yes, okay. It is. Yeah, it's like... Is that, I was thinking I could... It looks like a kind of green frog spawn. It's really weird stuff. Um, it's like an algae type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did. Um, I, 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 I've, I go to. Uni I've been to university a lot to do different degrees, and I did in environmental science at one point. Still, I'm kind of doing it in the background um, over a long term period of time um, as well. But in my first thing, one of the things we did was that kind of stuff about algae. Um, and yeah, um, it's a weird, weird plant. Could add like options like these, similar to these, to to some of my questions as well to make them easier. Which plant species is known to produce the world's saffron. most expensive Saffron. Cactus. Spice? Saffron. Saffron. Not cactus. Co think, co yeah, sa saffron was the most expensive. Crocus, not cactus, spice, but yeah, saffron. Though. Insanely oh. expensive. More expensive yeah. than gold yeah, per pound. That. Which part of the flower contains the female reproductive organs? The pistil. Oh, no, not petal. Pistil? I don't know. Yeah. Lucky guess. I don't know botany that well. But okay, especially in English. Yeah. Maybe in Latvian a little bit, but... Yeah, I now know you're Latvian, dude. Uh, not in English. I don't know what I called you last time, but... I, t <laughs> I remember Latvian. I remember now. I remember. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm pretty, doing pretty well. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Um... So what is this? Entertainment, Cinema? right? Oh, Cinema? Let's try Entertainment, okay. One. Yeah, it's like true percent. Which city did the, the doors originally... LA. <sighs> I'm not sure what the doors even are. It's a rock it's band. Place. In which city? I say um, rock band. I'm not a massive fan, but yeah. Yes. Los Angeles. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. How lucky, guys. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, who famously performed Blowing in the oh, Wind? Oh, Bob Dylan. Rolling Stone? I have no idea. Bob Dylan. Okay. No. Peter. <laughs> but now, 
The question is, did you not know who Bob Dylan was or did you not know the, the song? So um, the, it's one of the most famous songs by Bob Dylan. This is where anybody that's younger than me, which in, actually includes Peter, is going to be like, who the fuck is Bob Dylan? Or like, it's one of the most famous songs from the Bob Dylan who was famously kind of anti-war during um, Vietnam and, and everything like that. But it's um, how many how many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is... It's that song. It's one of my famous... I, I, I also see it as a poem. One of my famous... One of my famous... One of my most favourite songs and kind of poems of all time. I'm a big Bob Dylan fan as well. That would have been my second guess, but... No clue, really. And who was the lead guitarist of the Jimi Hendrix experience? Just Jimi Hendrix, right? Jimi Hendrix? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you were questioned whether they, these questions were too hard, Peter? That one, Let's seriously? Let's keep going. There isn't necessarily like an end game. You can just play it uh, as much is as Is the you normal play still there, though? That's what I'm wondering. Questions. We spend a lot of time writing questions, so some might be more difficult, some might be more easy. There might be some errors. If you find some errors, uh, let me know again, uh, and, and uh, I'll try to fix it ASAP. That's Uganda, uh, right? Or I'll let others know. Uh, which country is the home to half of the world's mountain gorilla Sure, it's Uganda. It's, it's the only reason I know is because... I Uganda, no? Or yeah, I was meant to do... It was Uganda. Yeah, I was meant to do Kilimanjaro a few years ago, and yeah, I afterwards I was going to go and see him. What is the name of the largest primate in gorilla. the world? Uh, it was they're gorilla! They're fucking huge! Right? Yeah, yeah, they're massive. Nice, I knew that one. What is the name of the primate that is known for its long... Spider Monkey! Tail. Yeah, they can do weird things. Nah, Spider, Spider Monkey, Monkey, yeah. Okay. They're weird. They're, they're brilliant, but yeah. In which modern day country did Ashoka the Great rule from... Oh, India. He was, um, a weird, he was a very kind of well-known for having like a peaceful nation during that time period. Because it wasn't that, it wasn't a massively peaceful time, but it was very, very peaceful um, under his rule. He was known for peace and security and things like that. It's uh, yeah, India. What event is Ashoka's in Ashoka's life caused him? Oh, the death of uh, the the uh, Kaliga War. Yeah, that's what kind of turned him, and then Buddhism made it peaceful. So, so he decided to adopt Buddhism because of that. Uh, which famous Buddhist site was built by Ashoka the Great? Uh, uh, the Asanji Stupa. Stupa, I believe. <coughs> yes, nice. So, if anyone's wondering, uh, in primary school, I don't know how many schools do this. I don't even know if it's an English thing or whatever. Um, but we're given like um, pick a, a a subject as like your main thing, and then you do all amounts of research around it and you present it um in primary school so like elementary school um and my main thing was india <laughs> when i was in primary so like i learned everything i could about india um which is why I, the random facts there a perfect score perfect score let's go another history getting a lot of history okay uh, i'm good with history i wrote Usually. uh I, I made questions for which modern day oh let's see china country... yeah i wrote this one as well china yeah um, I wrote famous people questions and some of the geography questions. So, so, yeah, <laughs> those are mine. Uh, what is Lao Tse's most famous work? Uh, uh, the Tao Te Ching. Uh, Tao Te Ching, yes. Yeah, because he created Taoism. What is Taoism. the name of the philosophy founded by Lao Tse? Taoism. Uh, <laughs> I think it was Taoism, yeah. right? The Taoism yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of came from those I get some thoughts. more questions that I didn't write. Ooh, art and literature. Now. Art and literature. What's the question? Where is the book? Oh, L Dublin, Lises Ireland. Set. Uh, this would it's be Dublin. I don't need. To, I don't need the picture. D Dublin, isn't it? See, O'Neill kind of gives it away, but yeah, no, that's Dublin. that's the giveaway for me, as I know Ulysses, because like Ulysses was written by James side. Joyce. Um, uh, I won't be able to fight Kate. Ulysses is the Latin. Ulysses is the Latinized name of uh, Odysseus. And if anyone's watching this stuff I've done before, and again I have it up there, um, I, I memorized uh, the Odyssey, which is Odysseus, the main person, um, for for school for my classics. Um, and uh, Ulysses is like the Latin Roman version of Odysseus, like Heracles and Hercules. And then Ulysses, written by um, James Joyce, is like a, is it a businessman just going through his day. But it's all like based on 
the trials of um, basically Odysseus and, and Ulysses during the tr after the Trojan Wars. In time, but, but so I know I'm stopping a lot here, there. but I love quizzes. I love talking about close them. Close enough. Close enough. Who wrote? Oh, James, James Joyce. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. James Joyce. Emily oh, Dickinson. James Joyce. I'm. Okay. I want you to go and do something for me, Peter. I want you to go and look up Emily Dickinson. Okay. I, I haven't <laughs> read it. Needless to say. What is the main character? Leopold Bloom. Leopold. Lucky guess. <laughs> it's not a very popular name in Ireland either. I don't know where the name came from. But okay, okay. Arts and literature is definitely not uh, my. That was just lucky because I've I've got Which Ulysses and the Odyssey and everything up there. From. U.S. She's a country she singer. Well, she was a country US. singer. Yeah. Okay, she is okay. But that, that question Some of these questions are too easy. easy. <laughs> But, yeah, maybe she's Canadian or something. What was yeah. Taylor Swift? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Called? I don't care. Oh, all of these are her albums, right? But which one was her debut album? Red? No, what was it? De Fair. Okay. I That's wouldn't have known album. any of those were her albums. I do not know. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Taylor Swift famously got... Oh, Kanye West. Other, uh, Kanye, was it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big deal back mm, in the day. Remember it happening. 2009. Well, it was that God. long ago. 14 years ago. It doesn't, Jesus. Doesn't feel that long ago. No, it doesn't. Okay, another geography question. Okay. Will it be mine or not? What's the got? largest landlocked country in Africa? It is my question. It's Chad, sure. right? It, uh, You'd think it's the DRC, but that kind of comes out. Um, yeah, it's Chad. It was, was but this is. No. no. Chad. It is Chad. But. I, guess I did a thing on, on Africa a little bit back. So the only problem I have with this is bigger. you can just keep clicking and see which is biggest. Uh, Surely there should be... This, uh, desert goes, uh, the Sahara. Most of northern Chad, a Sahara desert. Like, you can just keep clicking until okay. you see the biggest country, surely. And like, that seems like there should be a harder option. One. Which of these countries does not border Chad? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh. I, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, cool. Okay. Little facts about it, yes. Tricky, tricky. What okay, the, the layout is? No idea. I wrote it. <laughs> oh no, is it arts and literature? Uh, oh again? god. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is. <laughs> Yorkshire and England. <laughs> okay, we're getting a lot of English here. It's Yorkshire and England. Okay. It is UK, okay. Yep. Who wrote Ruth Ruther in Fights? Emily Bronte. Anna Bronte or Emily Bronte? It was her own. She was famous, nice. thri uh, famous uh, of three famous there. sisters. It was the, her only novel. I did it at school. These questions are tricky. What was Emily Bronte's pen name? Ellis Bell. The book was first published under Ellis Bell. Ellis. It's yeah. She was oh, sports, incredibly well known sisters, today, yes. but in this video, uh, where is this course located? Oh, is this a golf? That's course? St Andrews, isn't it? Like one. So Scotland. That's St Andrews. Golf. I only played mini golf, but it would be cool to actually try that golf is... sometime. I have I've... Peter. I don't play golf either. I have done a few things. Did it for a friend of mine's wedding as a stag do. If you would like to play golf, I don't know if there are many golf um, courses in in Latvia. But if you want to come over to England and we'll go up to Scotland, I'll be more than happy. Because I still, I still really want to do a um, some kind of uh, crossover with you. I, I, I no longer have Twitter, so I don't have a way of contacting you annoyingly. Because I, I got rid of it. I got rid of all my uh, all that stuff. But um, I would love that if you want. I, I, I'm inviting you over to the UK. I am not a golfer either, but I would love. We'll go. We'll go up to Scotland. I don't think we'll get into St Andrews, which I'm pretty sure this is. But hey, open invite. Or if there's a golf course in Latvia, I'm always traveling around that area. I am in, I mean, uh, uh, central to eastern Europe, like in a week or two as well. I, I, I yeah, we can film it. <laughs> no idea where this golf course is located. But I'm sure that's St. Andrews. It also looks incredibly British. Like, that is, St. Andrews got to be. So maybe somewhere in Scotland. That would be my guess. And if we're driving on the left side... Yeah, that's St. Andrews. It was. Somewhere it was. There. was, was yeah, it like it. yeah, I thought so. It was... I'm not sure. Yeah, you got Probably big things for it. I, I wouldn't know. What is the numeric measure given to describe a golfer's ability? The handicap. Handicap. Car. No? 
handicap. Par means for the for the I mean, I, the hole. Oh, good. What is the term used for two under par? In Eagle. Eagle. So I don't play golf myself, but I used yes. to play it on the uh, my old Microsoft uh, 386 a lot when I was a kid. Thought of these options only, Eagle is is. Is the name of I apologize if I'm talking over Peter a lot, but we both talk a lot. Right? I don't think there's an hour. It's gonna happen. Which country was Gustav Klimt He's from? Austrian. Austrian. Austrian painter. Yes. What is Klimt known for? Oh, he's a painter. Painting. I've heard of his name. Sculpting? No. no he's a symbolist painting. painter. Okay. Symbolist painter, I think, is the way I feel like I've heard it. of his name before. Mm. Klimt took inspiration from another country Ooh. in his paintings. Which one? Japan? I mean, yeah. I kind of guessed it would be Japan because France seemed too easy there, but I wasn't sure. Oh, no, it's sports. Okay, what sport, though? Rip. <laughs> Find the country. Oh! <laughs> France. From Platini. <laughs> Maybe Italy. France. So I, I don't know. Then you give me him. No, I don't think I've heard of him. Michael Timmy played the for France. Oh, Q8. It's really won? weird. Kuwait. He came. So, yeah, he came out of retirement. He only has like one cap for, for Q8. It's a really weird one. Like the leader of Q8 specifically requested him or asked him or something. And he came out of retirement just to play for Q8. I can't remember, I can't remember if he scored or not. But it was a really weird. Yeah, really weird. Because I don't even know. Like. I don't think he's of any ability to play for Q8. Like, I don't... Like, you men have... But I guess because it was a friendly, they let him get away with it. But yeah, nice. I don't know who it was again. Does French Guiana have a national team? Probably. So I would assume it's under France. Michael Platini... UEFA. Okay, well, I, I need to change the... He became, he became president this, uh, of UEFA. This is question. Michael yeah, Platini, 2007, he became president of what? UEFA. Uh, FIFA. So the, the whole thing with, um, so just very quickly, the um, football recognizes more countries than the UN. So French Guyana does have its own its own team, I, I uh, believe, in the same way that Wales, England, Scotland all have their own separate teams, even though in the Olympics, the Olympics only recognize Great Britain as having a football team. Is that, is that the same thing? Like the the Olympics and the UN recognise one country or or one grouping of countries, football, so which is about one hundred ninety seven or one hundred ninety eight countries, depending on whether you include places like Taiwan or, or Vatican City, which come out of different things. Um, but I believe uh, FIFA and governing bodies recognise two hundred and seven, something like that. They they recognise like an, an extra ten or so countries. So yeah. Well, I knew it wasn't France. New, no. but uh, yeah, I think Step well, Blatter I'm was not, still in charge in 2007 of we didn't get FIFA. Any general knowledge questions in this video, but but there are quite a few of those as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more of these. Indeed. And... Well, thank you, Peter. Um, if you do see this, if you and if you watch the end, you may have seen a little rant in one of my videos because I think he said in there of like letting you know if there's any corrections you made and things. So I'm going to make this rant, just not a rant, but this little thing at the end. Um, you have a um, GeoGuessr, like normal GeoGuessr mode for West Sussex in the UK. And then several times in that map, you have Brighton, because I went back and played it a lot after I did it on stri on, on video here. Um, Brighton isn't in West Sussex. Brighton is in East Sussex. So your, your ma the map is wrong. It's including a town or a city specifically that is not in the county that it says it's in. So West Sussex does not include Brighton. The the uh, West uh, So West Sussex does that. And Brighton is here, so I can understand why somebody might think it's there, but it's not in. So anyway. But anyway, <laughs> that was a really random one. I just felt like I was chatting to myself or anybody out there. But I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, Peter, keep making amazing content. I love watching your stuff. Um, and thank you for interacting with my channel as well. It is very much appreciated. Um, but I will see you again on Wednesday. See you guys.